Okay, um, so today we're gonna be doing um, lab 3-1, data reduction using the fuzzy matching. Um, I've already made sure that the Excel has the fuzzy lookup, and you can do so by downloading the link and just following the instructions to install it. Um, so we're gonna open up the necessary document, which is my 3-1 fuzzy. And we'll start off by quickly browsing through the worksheets to ensure there's complete, they're complete and has all the information. A quick way to do that is by zooming out, making sure that all cells are filled. For both employee and vendors, you want complete information. Then, um, to select the entire data, you hit Control A. And then we'll go to Home, Format as Table. I'm going to pick yellow because it makes me happy. And then um, make sure that the box here is clicked so that it acknowledges that your table has headers and then it will click OK. And now it looks pretty. OK, so now that my table has been added, I will change the name of this table by going to the Design tab and renaming it to Employees. Be sure to spell it correctly. Or like, yeah. <laughs> um, and then we're going to do the same thing for vendors. So once again, just kind of following the steps we've already done, um, you're going to select all your information, Control A is the easiest way to do it, um, in home, format as table, I'm going to go ahead and go with yellow again, make sure to select the box that my table has headers. Um, pretty sure that's not the same one as this one, so let's just try that again. <laughs> um, Yes, thank you. Um, then looks nice. And then we go to design um, under to click a sorry little box in there and then change the name to um, nope, sorry, vendors. Vendors. It's a little early, so thank you. Um, and next, we shall save the file. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save as browse, and we're going to call it fuzzy. And make sure that you're saving as an Excel workbook. Usually shows up as XLSX, the same. Um, and then, okay. and so during this next part of the project, we're going to focus on the vendor sense. Um, so just use a little drop down here, deselect all so that you can focus on one uh, selected here. And in this case, we're going to focus on 2019. Uh, so I'm going to get I'm going to hit OK. Okay, And so now we're going to use the information that is for 2019 only um, to create a new table. And by doing so, we're going to do Control A twice to make sure that you, you selected all information, including the headers. And then you're going to copy. In a new sheet, we're going to paste this new table. Um, if you'll see here, you have some little um, hashtag marks. That just means that um, your cells are not long enough to demonstrate uh, all the information it's within. So if you um, just move it over a little bit, that should take care of that. Nothing to worry about. Um, move this over a little bit so that and show information looks good. And then to rename, you can just double click or you can right click and hit rename. 
Um, and I'm going to name this worksheet Vendors 2019. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and save this new file as fuzzy tables 2019. Right here. Okay, uh, after, and I've already saved this, but I kind of wanted to backtrack here a little bit to make sure that um, I wanted to save this table um, in the correct format. So what I'm going to do here is just format as table. And I'm actually going to go with a different color because I'm going to spice it up a little. Um, so select format as table. Oh, you know what? I forgot to control A. So let's try that again. Control A, control A. Hold on. It turns out you can't pick a different color. Um, so I'm actually going to just stick with what I had. Um, and you'll see here that the format of the table can change. You can actually do different types of the same color, um, but it won't work if you try to change the color for future reference, just in case you're wondering, you know, I found out the hard way. Um, but yeah, now it's formatted as a table. And then I'm just going to go ahead and save that again to make sure that um, everything saves and looks nicely. So now we're ready to continue. Um, and actually, before we go ahead and continue, I'm actually going to make sure that I rename this table to Vendors 2019. Um, kind of easy to miss there since you've already renamed the worksheet, but it's important to um, remember to name your table as well as your worksheet. So hit save once again since it's already saving as fuzzy um, hyphen tables hyphen 2019. So now we are actually ready to move on.